Hi right, guys, just wanted to do a quick video just to uh, share my experience of upgrading my RAM from this, which was two sticks of four gigabytes, so eight gigabyte in total, to uh, two pack sticks of eight, so a total of 16 gigabytes. Um, nobody have told me how to do this, it's the first time I've upgraded um, any RAM at all, and I thought it would be quite simple just taking out the old sticks and putting in the new. But for some reason I kept getting, uh, the system wouldn't boot, and uh, it wouldn't post any picture. The system would start up and I'd get no picture on my screen at all. And the keyboard wouldn't light up and I couldn't work it out. At first I thought it was because the RAM that I'd bought was not compatible, it was too new. So I sent that back and I bought a second lot of uh, RAM, which was shown on the MSI website. But again, when I put it in, the system wouldn't uh, post and I just couldn't work out at all. So I tried Googling a few different bits, looking on YouTube to see what uh, what I could find out should uh, happen or what should I do. Uh, I was looking at resetting the CMOS um, and that's when I googled that. What does resetting the CMOS do? And basically what that does is it resets your um, BIOS. And what I didn't realise is on my um, system, my memory, I had the XMP, uh, XMP on. This is through uh, MSI B450i and um, it configured the settings to run at a certain voltage and a certain um, megahertz for the ballistics. So when I put the new RAM in, it wasn't getting enough voltage and it wasn't running at the right um, settings. So what I've had to do is if you go into advanced settings, save and exit, and then on there is restore defaults. And what you want to do is restore your defaults. Click on yes, I'm not going to because I've actually redone all mine, but yes to that. And then shut it down. Then turn your system off. Take out your old RAM. Put your new RAM in. Start it up. Hopefully that will be able to boot up for you and you'll be able to go into your BIOS and reset your AXMP or um, overclock, whatever it is that you want to do, and get everything up and running again. Uh, the thing that I was showing on mine was you won't be able to see down there now, but down on the right hand side, you've got the little LED light that was flashing between uh, CPU and DRAM. It wouldn't go to the VGA light. And like I said, I spent about three, four hours trying to work this out, and I just couldn't work it out. And finally, figured it out. Got it up and running. Probably could use the RAM that I did get. I'd bought the um, Corsair RGB Pro. Looked really, really nice, but I just thought it wasn't compatible. Probably was, but never mind. This stuff is, is fine. It's nice. Um, so, yeah, it was just a quick little video just for you guys to... Um, bit of information for you. So that if you get the same trouble as I did, because I've seen a lot of people saying about it, there's a possible solution for you. So uh, I hope this helps.